What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am Nick here with Ryan and Ty. Duh. What's up? You were here last week. We were like, well, what song are you doing, guys? And uh, you had a Billy Joel song. That's right. Quest, and I was like, um, oof. I was anticipating to bring <laughs> Billy Joel to the channel. <laughs> so I told you, look, I, I got dibs, and you're like, well, hurry up and do it. Hurry up and do Billy Joel, because the people want Billy Joel. <laughs> we are here this week. William Martin Joel. He was born in the Bronx, and he grew up in Long Island, New York. He actually dropped out of high school to pursue a musical career. Ain't it funny, like, how many times you hear that, like, a very successful person, they dropped out of high school or college. Yep, every it's, time. It's not a coincidence. Because they're smart. <laughs> <laughs> and he was actually a part of two short-lived bands, The Hassles and Attila, before he kicked off his solo career in 1971. He released 13 albums, and he produced 33 top 40 hits in the U.S., all of which he wrote himself. Wow. How many artists can say that nowadays? Yeah. He has been nominated for 23 Grammys. He won five of them, including Album of the Year. With over 150 million records sold worldwide, he is the seventh best-selling recording artist and the fourth best-selling solo artist in the United States. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1999. Enormous success. <laughs> Massive. So we are reacting to Piano Man, easily one of his biggest hits. I've heard this song. You guys? I have yeah. heard this song. I've heard this song. Really? Yeah. This is a massive song. Yeah. How uh, could you not hear this song? With Ryan, I'm sort of surprised. Not so much you. Yeah, but. whenever we get comments, they're like, how are you this, you know, this far into your life and you've never heard of this person or this song? It happens. There's not everybody of, knows the songs you know. There's a lot of music. Yeah. This was inspired by Joel's experiences playing at the Executive Room, which was a piano bar in Los Angeles. He worked there for six months in 1972 after his first solo album, Cold Spring Harbor, tanked. That's hard to believe. His first album flopped. The characters in the song are based on real people Joel encountered while working at the executive room. Joel has said, I have no idea why that song became so popular. It's like a karaoke favorite. The melody is not very good and very repetitious, while the lyrics are like limericks. I was shocked and embarrassed when it became a hit. But my songs are like my kids, and I look at that song and think, my kid did pretty well. In 2015, the Library of Congress selected this song for preservation. This is often played as the encore in his live shows. Gentlemen! Good night! Yeah. And he just walks back up. Did I live? Like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this is from the second studio album of the same name, released in 1973, and the album went four times platinum. Let's do it, man. This is Billy Joel, Piano Man. That's an incentive to learn some piano. <laughs> some people can't handle 
free drinks, though. It's like, okay, you just need to back up, okay? <laughs> because when you get some drinks in you, just stay You're up. a little much. <laughs> just, You're just a little so much. You, you can't be trusted. Somebody <laughs> take their keys, please. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen the video? No, no. that's not the first time I've seen it. Yeah, I've never okay. seen the video. We went over how he said the lyrics are like a limerick. And he's right. I mean, this does have an old type of style. It kind of sounds like a song that could be hundreds of years old. And it's a melody that is reminiscent of traditional folk songs. You know, it's almost like a shanty. Love the piano. Love the harmonica. And even though it's not shown in the video, Billy is playing that harmonica. Yeah. Reminds me of like a bar song, you know. Hey, Heidi Ho. You know, everybody's just singing it. Well, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. what the song is yeah, I know, but I'm saying, like, it didn't have to sound like this. And I love his vocals. I mean, you know when somebody's a good singer, when they can sing in that low tone, you know, mm -hmm. almost like it's his speaking voice. Yeah, like he's talking. It's more difficult than you think. That's one of the marks of a good singer. Yeah, it does sound like a drinking song, but it's also melancholy. You know, it's like people are singing this because if I don't sing this, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> you know, I have to sing this for my own sanity. I need an escape. I mean, that's what bars are for. Now John at the bar is a friend of mine. He gets me my drinks for free. And he's quick with a joke or to light up your smoke. But there's some place that he'd rather be. had time for a wife and he's talking with David who's still in the Navy <laughs> and probably will be for life Forget that chorus, man. Yeah. Come on. Man. Especially the way he says piano. Yeah. Piano, man. <laughs> he says piano. Piano. Even though he's right, like this basically has that same melody throughout the song. Yeah. He still builds it up, though. Like the chorus is still really big. And it's incredible how effective that harmonica is. We haven't had a lot of harmonica. We've had fake on harmonica. This oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Mr. Adam Rowe. Home free. It doesn't seem like it gets used that much anymore. I'm sure like in blues it still does. You know, because when people think of harmonica, they think of blues. Yeah. You know, they think of loneliness, sadness. It's a shame that it doesn't get used that much anymore because it's a wonderful instrument. Yeah, I get excited when I hear like different instruments that you yeah, hear a lot. Weird instruments. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I like the sax. Like the, the accord sax is fire. The accordion in here. The accordion is, is a nice touch. Yeah. I wonder if it's him that put that in there. Well, I'm mean? sure he like he added that. He's like, I feel like he's that like, wasn't... you know what? We need a chord. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I feel like he like didn't he originally had it in there. He's like, you know what? Let's add this. <laughs> he, yeah. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. he just played it and it was like, oh yeah, that's fire. Putting the harmonica as the precursor to the chorus and then it finishes the chorus as well. I mean, that's choice right there, man. And I'm glad that that waitress poured a drink oh, on yeah. that guy. <laughs> he grabbed her and he, he like shrugged like, I mean, what did I do? <laughs> it's like, come on, dude, you sexually harassed her. That's my only complaint about this video is somebody should have punched him in the face, knocked him out cold, and then threw him onto the street. If you grab my booty out of nowhere, <laughs> you're out of here, pal. <laughs> Go grab yourself. <laughs> 
No, that harmonica really gives the message of this song an eternal quality. Like, it'll just live on forever. But I absolutely love the line when he says, yes, they're sharing a drink they call loneliness, but it's better than drinking alone. I mean, if that's not true right there, I mean, to me, that line right there is the lifeblood of this song. Just so well written. Yes, they're sharing a drink they call loneliness, <laughs> but it's better. Saturday and the manager gives me a smile Cause he knows that it's me they've been coming to see To forget about life for a while I'm guessing that ending shot was actually a picture of him when he was playing at the bar at the time. I never even really noticed that until just now. Man, I really love the final chorus because everything comes in. It's even bigger than before. I can see why this is probably not one of Billy's favorites. You know, maybe it's just, yeah. he looks at it like, I didn't really intend for that to be right. one of my biggest songs. I get it, but... It's one of my favorites, Billy. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry, I can't help it. That, great. that is an amazing song. The lyrics in this are a beautiful illustration. I mean, if you never saw this video before, that's what you would picture it looking like. He describes all of these people. He briefly explains who they are, who they want to be, you know, basically why they're all there. You know, they haven't accomplished their dreams or goals yet. And even at the end, the last verse, people ask the piano man, they're like, man, what are you doing here? Like, you're too good to be here. Like, yeah. you shouldn't be playing in this bar. But that's why we're all together. That's why we're here. We're here to get away from all the stress and our problems in the world. I've always loved that song, heard it a million times. I think it's a home run. Back to what I said earlier. You ever yeah. seen that in movies where like some people just show up and they'll just go around and everybody will say a verse? This is the, the ideal song of that. And that's another thing. I'm not into bars myself, but I can see why people are is because you get to hang out with people and music is one of those bonds where it's like there's just something about singing a song together that brings yeah. People closer. And it reminds me of the Who's Lines Anyway skit of the Irish drinking song. Yeah. I've never seen that. That yeah. is always hilarious. Absolutely. It reminds me of everybody just having like big things big, of beer. Yeah, just, big beer with the handles. Just, just, like everybody <laughs> clanging beers together. Yeah. But you know what thing is though? That kind of style of like bars, like non existent anymore. Yeah. You don't find somebody in there playing a piano just by themselves. Yeah. It's yeah. usually like a band or they're playing music from yeah. you know, stereo. The radio, yeah. Or something like that. They're, that kind of style is not. It's not in style anymore, which is kind of sad. I mean, I would like to see it sometimes. It's probably big in, like, bigger cities. Because I'm pretty sure they got it somewhere. It's not going to be yeah, nowhere. I, I can see you going to a beer and just giving yourself a verse. Like, all right, Ryan, give a 
the verse and you're just like, I went down <laughs> to the stars. <laughs> <And you're> not, <laughs> if you put this song on at a bar, I guarantee you there will be multiple people singing it. Oh, oh everybody's yeah. Singing. Oh, everybody's yeah. singing. La, da, da, da. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and like a, especially like a, like a karaoke bar. Oh, yeah. If you go up there and sing this, everybody's going to sing with you, literally. This That's is it. a song that everybody just starts hugging everybody for no reason. <laughs> yep. Everyone's yep. in a good mood. Yep. And there's nothing better <laughs> than having a good time with random people. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. It's always it, with random people. Exactly. It's You can never have too much fun with random people. Because they don't even know who you are. They ain't going to judge you for who you are. They're just going to have fun because they just met you. It's, yep. it's great. It's and great they're time. doing exactly what you're yep, doing. Yep, they're doing exactly yeah. what you're doing. <laughs> Nobody cares how bad you're singing or not. <laughs> yeah. And again, that's kind of what this song is about. It just screams camaraderie. I mean, it's a real honest-to-goodness track. It's incredibly sentimental. Timeless treasure for sure. That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like. And as always, please tell us your views. Thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. Peace, Peace out. out. Thanks Thank for subscribing. Hit, hit that, that bell. bell. Peace, Peace out. out. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We did.